So in the world of DC Motorists, we can have thick fingers, we can have a shark eating an arm, but what we can have are the guns. Why you ask? Well, it was all thanks to WB. Now WB for some reason think that having guns in a figure will make a kid violent. I know, pretty dumb, right? Uh, but that's the reason WB told McFarlane to not include any more guns on his figures. I believe the last ones that were included was for uh, Flashpoint Batman with the uh, unmasked version. Later on, once McFarlane started to release more Red Hood figures, people started to notice that these Red Hood figures didn't come included with the gun. Especially with the Red Hood from the Gotham Knights video game. That's when I, th I think people started to notice that the figures didn't come didn't come included with the guns although the guns in the game were like non-lethal they still didn't include the guns so how are the guns coming back to DC Multiverse you ask well if you've been collecting DC Multiverse for a while then you probably know about these four, four sections I guess of figures that McFarlane makes even though they all look the same and they're 7 inch first off here we have is a DC Multiverse which they're, they're not going to be there. The guns are not going to be in the DC Multiverse line. We have the digital wave, which funny enough, this wave that I'm showing right here never never got to, never got to see the day of light, which is kind of funny. So they're not going to the digital wave. We also have the page punchers, which include uh, comic books. They're not going to be there either. They are going to be in the collector's edition stuff. Why you ask? Well, I said it in the packaging. It says collector's. Um, I don't know why it has to do with it since there's also kids that collect, but I guess they think that adults are collectors. And I also have to add that the collector's edition stuff in Target, they put it like aside from the DC Motorverse. They put it like in the Funko Pop sections and all that, um, which I guess that's another reason why they might have a more leverage of putting guns in those packagings for collectors. Also, if you have noticed, we have gotten female characters in the Collector's Edition. Most likely for like comic book because uh, we have gotten live action figures for in the DC Multiverse that are female. And my theory of why we're getting more female figures in the Collector's Edition is because, I mean, it's going to sound dumb, but it's because the, the, the figures such as Wonder Woman, they show a lot of more skin. Uh, yeah, it, it sounds dumb, yeah, uh, but for example, Supergirl from the New 52, I believe, um, that she post, she's supposed to show skin on her leg. For some reason, we didn't get that for the DC Multiverse. It was covered up. Um, some people were a bit mad. I mean, just because the people wanted to uh, make it look accurate. But yeah, like I said, it might sound dumb, but uh, as you can see, uh, they covered the Supergirl's leg um but like wonder woman wonder woman she shows a lot of leg and i guess they couldn't have that in a decent multiverse so they put in the collector's edition same thing with starfire although um she's like uh alien she's still shown skin now back to the topic of guns a upcoming figure that we're gonna get this year called sergeant rock he will most likely come with guns and once we see that sergeant sergeant rock comes with guns then we will know that Guns are going to be exclusively to the Collector's Edition. Another one that we'll be getting, uh, I believe, this year is Jonah Hex. He will also be a part of the Collector's Edition. So will most likely come with guns. Another one will be Red Hood. The classic looking Red Hood, not the Red Hood we see. That one might also come with guns. But like I said, Sergeant Rock and Jonah Hex are most likely going to come with, come with um, guns. And honestly, it's all thanks to McFarlane. McFarlane was fighting against WB. He even put out those um, gun packaging that come with a bunch of guns. That was a response to uh, WB telling him that he cannot include include them in the figures. So figures such as Red Hood and other people that actually use guns are going to be, be putting in the collector's edition instead of your typical DC Multiverse line. They're now going to be in the collector's edition. Which is a bit more expensive. I believe they're like $30. Which sucks. But I guess that's the only way we're going to be getting figures. That um, actually need guns. So overall. It looks like guns are actually coming back. And that's a really 
good thing. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like, do all the good stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one.